Welcome back everyone to another episode of Dark Souls 3 Lore Through. Alright, so we found the uh, Ring City and we're going to explore it. I still have a little bit of a cough, <coughs> so you'll have to excuse me for that. Um, but I'm going to try my best. Yeah, these are the guys that I hate. They build up curse on you. A good mechanic, like just a good easy mechanic is it builds up on you, you have to wait for a second, and then it goes and it goes away. Because if you beat if you meet two of these people in a row, as we'll see, that we will. Oh, <laughs> they all have tongue pies. Like, it starts to build up too quickly, you know? And it's just kind of like, well... I don't know. You just have to sit around and wait. It's the only counter to it or whatever, so... Now we get to meet our first of the knights in this area. Stabbed him somehow. They always drop chunks, which is awesome. We can see this pygmy kind of carrying this uh, ring on its back, which kind of looks like the uh, like that sword that we impaled on uh, Henri's face, and even those crucifixion statues. Here, I should just kill those guys quick. Yeah, see, they have lightning spells, which is interesting. <coughs> now we're going to see these new enemies here, which kind of have this... This kind of like turtle thing going on, just like the other, like the pilgrims. A little bit annoying. There's some sort of cleric. There's a hidden one over here. I can really just mess you up as you go on with the next guy here. Um, and I hate the next guy. In fact, I might skip him. There's an item here. You can just run past them, so I'm gonna do that. I don't believe you get his anything from him. And he doesn't follow you. Um, there's an NPC here, which is great. I love how they did this. I mean, I don't love it. It's trolley. But, um, yeah, there's like, there's a couple of Herald Knights that come up here. And this guy, this one in particular, will come up. And attack you while you're talking in the middle of your sentence, which, you know, it's really trolly. Uh, 
Anyway, that's the best way I figured out how to take care of that guy. It's just, uh, lure him off the edge and drop on him. But now no one will talk, touch us while we talk to this NPC. Speak thee the name of God, thine own God, if thou canst recall. Well, I know what you're talking about. I don't, it's not that I don't know, it's Gwyn, but he's not my God. Ah, then thou's not forgotten. Perhaps tis why we may converse. I am known as Shira, servant to the Princess Filianor, matriarch of the church. They who are kin to God's name are surely kin to the terrors of the dark. I bid thee take not from the princess her peace or rest. As the fire waneth, does she lie by the dark, all for the sake of man. So she's telling us not to wake the princess um, because she's doing something for the pygmies, for the men, for humanity. Um, but we were told that the, his, her slumber was a deceit to... Um, by a friend of ours, so I don't know if we should trust Shira or not. Thou'st a kind heart. Speak to a captive such as I. It is no surprise thou rememberest our God. A captive? Interesting. May I ask thee a kindness? Sure. Perhaps thou'st beheld the lone dragon that inhabited this city. Hmm. Nadir is his name. And the arch dragon that his forebears. He once railed against the dark. It was by dark afflicted. Now here, returned, he remaineth to watch over the sleeping princess, true to the old court. And yet, I would have thee put the dragon to rest before the dark consumeth him and his vows are forgot. So this to me is a little bit of a confusing request, but I guess, like she said, her justification is that he is afflicted with the dark and that he was protecting Princess Filianor, but that he's going to get consumed and then he will not, then he will be alive and is powerful, but will not remember to protect the princess and might do harm. So, fair enough, but it's a little bit of a stretch. I offer my sincerest gratitude, thou who art kin to God's name. Please, take this. Sacred Chime of Filianor. I have asked a thing most terrible of thee. May this token of thanks be of aid. Oh, I should have dropped everything. Oops. Oh, we never read this. The long-handled staff wielded by the murkmen who rise from the depths, slathered with black murkiness and fit for dark sorceries. A sacred chime blessed by Princess Filianor, matriarch of the church. Filianor's favor knows no boundaries, and this sacred chime expands the range of vicinity, affecting miracles that heal, cure, provide other enhancements. I beg of thee, put the great dragon to rest, before the dark consumeth him and his vows are forgot. All right. We will do that. Some moss fruit here, curiously. We won't be as lucky with the spear guys. That's with that guy. Uh, there's no item over here. Hmm. 
<coughs> Excuse me. Um, yeah, so I went offline. Um, uh, and apparently that prevents all, uh, even NPC invaders. Um, or maybe it's because I'm human? I don't know. Um, but Alva is supposed to invade you there. And we get to see Zully's stuff. <coughs> the purple hat of the witch Zully, who intended to seduce Alva the Wayfarer, but eventually became his closest supporter, spending her entire life with him. The pointed hat is a symbol of heretical magic crafts, and Zully wears hers with an unspoken but deep sense of pride. It is said that Zully the witch, who was never loved nor loved another, experienced all manner of misfortune, and yet in the end found her purpose in life. Well, that's too bad. Well, we won't get invaded by people, but... It's alright. Oh, but there is one that we're going to want to get invaded by. I don't know how many are dependent on bosses, though, so we can try... them. Gauntlets worn by the Herald Legion who sought the Dark Soul. The gauntlets sank into the dark with the Legion, the leather partly melted and metal, and the metal pieces showing signs of unsightly bloating. combination there. Alright, so yeah, let's take care of these guys. And then a lot of moss root here. Oh, that guy did come to life. Okay, well, let's see if we can get out of this. So yeah, this is the area where it's just like you have to sit here and wait. got cursed there. <coughs> Here's a spear guy, but we can at least fight him separate. Although we should take care of this guy over here, although I don't know if that guy over there is dark, so we're just gonna wait. I guess, it, do I, can you cure dark? I mean, I guess there's like this. We might as well use this while we're waiting. See, that guy is almost killing me. It's just... Oh my god. And I even have absorption on. Oh. Let's 
cool because this looks like an actual dragon said. We got the Ragnar armor. It's highly sought after. Malformed black armor of the ringed knights. The, the armor of early men was forged in the abyss and betrays a smidgen of life. For this reason, the gods cast a seal of fire upon such armor and those who possessed them. So they have a hole in which darkness drips out of. And there's the weapon we just fought against. Black spear wielded by the ring knights. The arms of early men were forged in the abyss. Yeah. Oh, wait, what? What was that special? Thrust the time worn spear and watch it restore its ancient brilliance and reignite a show. Okay, so it's called Ember, but it's just ignites the spear one met the dark with learning but in the end learned his knowledge was wanting the world began without knowledge and without knowledge will it end does not this ring clear and true fear not the dark my friend and let the feast begin yeah, you can hear that they're trying to convince people of something. I love this guy. Why am I constantly running out of... Oh, do I... I don't have a Chloranthi ring on in any way. I think that's probably what's going on. But I've been playing through this, like, with this amount of, uh... With this amount of, uh, regeneration on my, um... There are these like black crystals throughout here, which is kind of interesting. We'll see more of those. Um, without this regeneration on my uh, <coughs> stamina, that I'm just don't know why I was not guessing it right over there. Um, yeah, so I don't fight these guys for sure. Um, the purging monuments up there. These guys, I mean, it's just this guy, and then there's like a guy immediately behind him, and you can't kite him out one at a time, so we just don't fight those guys. But we want to talk to Lap here. Ooh, I like that. There's a lot of human related items here. Uh, the serpents and the serpent rings and I don't know, well, there, there's more stuff coming up I guess but oh and here we are again how goes things I'm rather running in circles I'm afraid I can't find the purging monument and I've searched high and low what if it was never here in the first place oh bloody hell what do I know I don't know where it is Sorry, I know it doesn't concern you. Seeing you all good and well, I, <coughs> I just sort of spilled my guts to you. Just forget it all. Like a good hollow wood. <laughs> now, we don't want to keep talking to him because he starts to, like... Did he fall down? Nice. That's a way to kite them. 
still not gonna fight this guy. Wonder how far he'll chase me though. Hopefully not too far. Alright, so if I don't get invaded. I didn't realize this is how this worked. Huh. Okay, well we'll once we'll go back online for the final episode and we'll try to we'll try to get everything like together. Um Uh, hmm. So there's an item here. Um, I guess we'll just, I'll grab it, but we'll have to remember that it was here. So we got Havel's Ring plus three. Am I wearing Havel's Ring? No. Oh, I do have Clarinth Ring. Jeez. Okay, something weird is going on. Um, so we have Havel's Ring, uh, and we already read that. Yeah. Um, we'll just have to remember that it was here because it has a little bit of lore to do with the invader we get invaded by there. Um, all right. I love these little locusts here. They like run with you. I love it. And not all these preachers are nice and kind. Um, and so what we're gonna do, uh, I guess we'll do this in a second. It does not open. We've got more Koth statues, more Silver Knights. Um, <clears throat> I don't really want to clear out this area. I mean, I do want to get a few items, but I don't know. I'm just not, like, oh, wow. I don't know that move very well. Oh, it, it makes me... I should level up with these souls. Um, I'm just trying to think if there's anything. I guess I'll just clear this out. It's just... Let's start with this Judicator Giant, I guess. Okay, good. We start with Zully. Oh! Okay, so we want no Zully hype.
get a hitting blessing from him. Alright. Let's go clear this area first. Ring Knight Straight Sword probably says the same. Um, yeah, nothing new. There's this preacher here. And so, she lived in fear of the dark, of the things that gnawed at her flesh. And yet, the abyss hath yet to produce any such creature. Fear not the dark, my friend. Hmm. And let the feast begin. That was definitely a reference to Arena. Um, oops, I want to go here. That's what I was thinking. White Preacher Head. An empty head of a white-faced locust that rose from an abyssal swamp. The white-faced locusts were meant to beckon men to the dark with sermons, but most of them are unable to think past their own stomachs. Someone might rise to the occasion and restore the path of righteousness. Perhaps that someone is you. Did you not arise from the abyss? And did you not resist drowning in the age of fire? Locusts and men are kindred spirits. I like that. Prophesizing to me in the item description. What is going on here? <laughs> Always out of my reach. Twinkling. Twinkling Titanite. Look at that little look at that little head. <laughs> um there's a guy up here that causes problems. get you in a second. White birch bow. This is really interesting. Especially by our white birch. A short bow crafted with white birch, endowed with light manipulating magic. The bow is a relic from an ancient land of the sorceries that was swallowed by the abyss, most known for its folk tale of the heroic abyss walker. Yeah, white birch, which is said to be dusk's form, and the ancient land of sorceries, light manipulating magic. I mean, it's essentially unsubtle. These guys are praying to this, uh, oh wow, to this chapel or something here. Yeah, 
then we find the church guardian shiv. This special throwing blade is a flat tip and is wielded by guardians of the church of Filionor. Consume FP to protect, project illusory blades which seek their targets. Guardians of the church, of whom few remain, watch over Princess Filionor's eternal slumber, along with the spears of the church. And this is like a little, you can throw this, you can equip it, it's infinite use. It's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, the painting guardians, they used to guard, um, they used to guard, uh, Priscilla. It's kind of interesting. Now they, similar ones guard, I, I guess I, I made a jump right there, um, that it was the painting guardians, but it looked just like the painting guardian blade. Um, there's something in the distance there. I mean, if I didn't know what it was, I certainly wouldn't know by looking at that, but that is the Dragon Slayer armor that we fought. And I really do, I think this is a kind of a nice, interesting thing here. Let's see if we can grab this guy in one. One go through without death. He certainly is tanky. I need another cough drop. So are there more than one Dragon Slayer armors? Was this like Ornstein? Is this... That's just way too fast. So I can only hit once. Oh god. That like would probably do all my health. Ooh. Don't know why that didn't hurt me. use a lot of my health up on there but it's worth it we get the old dragon slayer armor set let's see what that says stark melted iron helm of the ancient dragon slayer armor the armor defeated by the champion of ash and lothric which was us was left ages to rust until it slipped into an abyssal Abyssal Swamp, where it was possessed once again by the memory of the hunt. So yeah, we are long, 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 long in the future. Uh, based on that description, because the champion of Ash was us. And we defeated it long ago. And it was left to rust. Um, isn't there a, a preacher's arm? <clears throat> a locust arm somewhere? I must have missed. Maybe it's out in this area. I love these things running around. Pretty 
creature's right arm. We'll read that in a bit. Um, I mean, we could be here forever. We could take out every single enemy if we'd like, uh, you know, and waste all of our time, but, um... Although it looks like I'll have to take at least one of these guys out. Ugh. Get out of here. Oh. These guys are probably more dangerous than I'm giving them credit for. When they're like in pairs. They have so much health! Okay, just get out of here. Alright. Um, yeah, this is one of those guys. I'm gonna just grab this Black Witch Veil. Okay. Oh, uh, this is not the way to go. Oops. Great. There's literally like five ringed knights on this building here. Like, like I'd have any chance at fighting all five of those at once, or any fun just kiting them out one by one. And there goes my deer, not my deer, but M I D I R. The uh, dark dragon that we we're meant to kill. Alright, well we've made the full circle. We can finally open this up. And here, let's just rest. So, in here, there's a bunch of ring knight statues. And there's also one where the Ring Knight statue has been disposed of, and there's a little bit of an inscription. There's no inscription on these, but there is a, like a rune-like inscription here that says, show your humanity. And the way that you do this, they give you a little bit of extra branches. turn into a humanity sprite, <coughs> which you can only do in the swamp. I mean, this wasn't meant to be, like, found by anyone in that sense of, like, uh, you know, like, it was meant to be found by someone, but not everyone is what I meant. <coughs> This is definitely one of those things that we benefit from having an online community. But of course, you know, for me, when I saw the clues, and I saw there was a um, um, message on the ground that said, use sorcery or whatever, so I was like, oh, I must have to, you know, convert. And I just did it here, and I would never turn into a humanity here, so I felt like that was wrong. Eh. I guess it's fine, whatever they did. <laughs> it, it hides it well enough from other people. Because I'm sure someone, like, used a white, a, a young branch when, uh, 
when they found them in the swamp. But, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, so this is, um, there's another Judicator Giant. There's like three more Ring Knights. And, uh, killing the Judicator Giant, I think, gives you a slab or something. I guess we can try to kill this guy. I just hope that he doesn't get followed by. This guy is easy enough because he. That's crazy move that he can do. He can like shoot that fire flame straight with his uh, shield and attack at the same time. That is just crazy. But yeah. But I think killing this Judicator Giant gives you a Titanite Slab, so... But maybe it's nothing more than, uh... Maybe it is nothing more than another Divine Blessing. So yeah, here's what we've been looking at from all over. Yeah, you can see the uh, first area that we went on where all those rune sentinels attacked us. I think that's where that is. And then where we met Lap, right underneath that. Which makes sense of the location. Because we would have gone up there, killed the adjudicator, and then curved around. And then, yeah, there's that building. So the purging monument similar to the, sh the Belka statue. Request absolution and qu uh, request dissolution. Um, which is interesting. Ooh. That's a nice way to go maybe grab that if I had any wherewithal. Oh, apparently it fell into the abyss somehow. Okay. But now that we know where it is, let's tell Lap about it. What did I come here in search of? Damn. Stop it. I'm unbreakable. Unbreakable patches. Unbreakable. Are you certain of that? I am. No. S sorry. I, I know you'd never lie to me. Thank you. Thank you kindly. I'll speed right on over. It won't be long now before I know everything. Who I was. What I lived for. And what my name was. And I'll have you to thank for it all. Ah. I swear upon my birth name that I am your friend. No matter what might come out. No matter what I was, if you would do me the honor, allow me to be a true friend, always. Of course, Patches, or Lap. It won't be long now before I know everything, who I was, what I lived for, and I. Yes, you do. Um, what's the most efficient way? I guess the most efficient way is this. <clears throat> Actually, I probably should have gone to the, um, to the shrine because I don't know if anyone has noticed, but I have 400,000 souls. Not that I need to level up or anything or buy anything, really. I, this will be the equipment I beat the game with and pretty much the stats, but I mean, if... If we have the ability to do so, why not at least get a couple more levels? Very well, then tell me. Yeah. Ashen ones. 
Ja. Alright. Hmm. We are not doing on time. I did not realize that we we're at the end of this episode. Okay. I'm going to make it a little longer because I want to get to the next bonfire. Um, and, um, yeah, this section might be hard. Um, but yeah, let's do this. Oh, come on. This guy is quite aggressive right off the bat here. As you can see here, the uh, Adjudicator Giant is still alive. Even though we killed them, because they do not, they respawn. Dragon head, great shield. This shield, <clears throat> as hard as a boulder, is formed by the head of the descendant of an arch dragon. Ring knights, by command of the gods, stood amongst the ranks who set out to slay the dragons, but their contributions were never lauded. So apparently the ring knights were also in the war against the dragons, as were a lot of different groups, as we learned throughout the series. Um, <clears throat> I feel like I'm just going to die here, um, but let's try and do this. No. I guess we have to run at this point. Maybe we can make it. Except for this guy pushes us off. Okay, nice. Okay, and he died. Nice, nice, nice. Large soul, weary warrior, huh? Oh god. Whew. Alright. <coughs> Let's go get this, uh... Man, yeah, there is a couple invasions here. I'll have to come back through, I guess. So yeah, you're meant to fall down there. And then you can't go through here. Oops. And these look like the catacombs, obviously. But yeah, we get invaded by, uh... Um... I got... Well, kind of. Ha <laughs> ha. 
Oh, look at that. It's lap. But in full patches squat. Oh, finally. You've come. Now I know exactly who I was. And for that, I have a little thanks to be giving. Go this way and peep past the broken staircase. Some awfully fine treasures just sitting there all alone. <laughs> It'll change your life. Now the last time he said this, he got us the treasure. Like he had changed his ways. And maybe after getting purged, like he's been kind of like cured or whatever. I've much to thank you for. So I'll say it again and again. Go this way and peep past the broken staircase. What? Don't you believe me? I mean, it's a little hard <clears throat> now that you've kind of become patches again. I've much to thank. Come on. But I trust you this time. such as I, devoid of all worldly wants. And there's a little bit of Miyazaki's social commentary about humanity. Um, he said that he was the one that was void, devoid of all earthly desires, which would make sense. Now, keeping on the theme of of avarice. We have a uh, a mimic here which is based off of like the greed um, god or whatever and it has the ring of evil eye in it. I don't know why like what that means what a story has to do with that but There's some stuff over there now. We were just over there. There's that guy trying to run at me with his parrying stance. <coughs> Excuse me so rude though it's like if I could just like basically oops <laughs> if I could just parry someone at will like just by holding a stance like and it just automatically parried them when they attacked that'd be nice um before we rest here I guess I'm going to fall down so that we can not have everyone respawn. Um, <coughs> if it's anywhere, it should be at the bottom of this, I guess. Uh, no. And then once we rest here, this will be the episode. Um, just trying to think. Is this it? Yes. We get lap stuff. Um, I guess let's just, you know. Heal up. It's not like we're gonna meet anyone, but 
you know, we're also not going to need any Estes, really. So why take a, take a risk and, like, fall down a weird thing and die? I guess I, I did open the, or I did light the bonfire. Okay, and there we have it. A, um, there we go. How many, uh, yeah, we have six Titanite slabs, and we've already used, like, two or three of them, which is crazy. Oh, we didn't read, uh, this one. The purple veil of the witch Sully, who intended to seduce Alva the Wayfarer, but eventually she became his closest supporter, spending her entire life with him. Zoli's veil is for travel and to hide her affiliation with the misunderstood craft of witches. We also didn't read the preacher stuff. Is there anything here we need to read? Oh, lap stuff. Steel gauntlets of the amnesiac, lo amnesiac lamp. Lap. <laughs> These plate armor gauntlets that cover the arms cleanly without even a slight gap provide heavy defense, quite fit to conceal a hollowed body and indeed one's very identity. Um, the desiccated right hand of a white faced locust that rose from the abyssal swamp that happens to perform as a catalyst for sorcery. The white-faced locusts were meant to beckon men to the dark with sermons, but most of them were unable to think past their own stomachs. The unruly mob. Yeah. So I think that was it. Alright. Well, thanks for watching, and we will continue the Ring City DLC with probably a couple more episodes. Um, it's quite a long uh, DLC, so uh, see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.